these oil pan bolts are like 10 mil they are. I think I might have a 10 mil right here in my hand. Welcome to Life of Belsif. Today we're gonna pull this oil pan off and get the dipstick tube out and see how everything looks. Because we're just caulking over and making a mess anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So let's get this thing off. Take a gander at her. I think I'm gonna change all the seals. I'm going to change all the seals in this engine before I put it back in. I'm this far now, I might as well go all the way. So I'm gonna leave one in here like that and we'll leave one on the other side. But that's all there is to do in them. Oh, there's one here. There we go. So we'll set these just down here for now. And we'll go on the other side and get the other side done. I'm hoping there's nothing behind the flywheel because if there is, I'm gonna be cocked right over because I didn't take the flywheel off. Ta-da! Stupid cat. What's really going on? Oh, careful. So now that we got it on this side, I gotta turn the motor, I do. Gotta go this way. There we go. So now that I turn that and you're all dicked over, cockeyed, have a look, see. Why wouldn't you? So we'll get these ones out. One. Aw, oh, dick. Oh. Decent. Nothing to it. Besides this one being stuck. Oh, there it goes. Just needed some persuasion. Oh. Crowbar action. Now technically I could probably roll the motor right around, but then all the oil would fall out. So I'm trying not to make a big mess here. So let's just do it the way we're doing it. We'll see what's what. And look at that, it's already loose. Oh, careful. Easy. Gentle. Here, let me grab a flashlight brought to you by friggin' Snap-on. Look how bright that bastard is. A little pen light. <laughs> if you're all wondering, I got a huge flashlight fetish. Just so you know. All right, so I don't see what the heck is holding it here, but we'll figure it out. Let me see if I can stick this somewhere. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, I shot it right in my face. Why wouldn't I? Oh, hey. That's probably cocking you guys right over here. Let me do this. Can you see? Probably not. That's right, it's only gonna be for a minute. You'll be all right. So there's definitely something holding her back here. Let me get this other bolt out that I loosened. All right, so there's definitely something at the back of the block that's holding the bolt from coming off. Well, there's definitely not a bolt there. We got all of them. Bingo, found them. It's a big one's way down here. There it is. Look at the size of them. Down she comes. Oh, decent. So now that we got that off, we can look for the dipstick tube. And this oil pan gasket is done. Look down here, there's a rivet in the old oil pan gasket, there it is. So we'll get that out of there. There we go, and that's all there is to that. So we'll get the shavings out of there, and she looks pretty clean. Let's look in, let's look down here. See what's really going on. There we go. So what I wanted to take that off for is just to stick the old googly hands in there. Because as you know, there's a dip stick tube, and on the bottom of the pan, we got uh, nothing but goop. Frig yeah. She's mint. Friggin' right it's mint. Pretty clean engine right here. So we'll get rid of that right now. Tell you one thing, at least we know the dipstick tube wasn't gonna go through the engine because it was way down in the catch can. So that's pretty friggin' good. We'll get this poured out and we're gonna have it dripping here for a few months off of this bottom end. But we'll give her a roll over here and have a look before we're done with the video. That's just a quick cleaning. Yeah, I just wiped her down real quick. She's not dirty at all. So we're good to go. There's no metal in it. <laughs> Terrible. But I am gonna put the winter's tray back in or the splash tray, or whatever kind of tray you want to call it. This tray. Hey. So we'll wipe that down real quick, and we'll slap it back in. That way none of the bolts get lost. I'm not 100% sure if I can use this oil pan yet. I won't know until I slap her in the old van there behind me. But hopefully it works, so I don't have to buy another oil pan. Should sit about the same spot as the 431 does. So hopefully we're good. So there we go, that's cleaned up, which goes this way. And we'll slap these back on. Now we should see what the torque specs is on these. We should probably Loctite them in too. So I'm gonna leave them loose for now, just so I don't forget. Or will I forget if I leave them loose? Well, I shouldn't hear it rattle. Afraid I don't have any Loctite, or just Loctite them back on now. We'll tighten them up by hand. Where the fuck are all my good ratchets? We'll just tighten her up by hand for now, so in case I forget, they're tight. Snug, it's gonna take forever. Here, let me just give it a little. 
Careful. Sometimes you just gotta get her down far enough. Snug, and when I mean snug, they're pretty friggin' snug. Snug enough where they're not gonna back up. So there we go. Out of the way upside down. Of course, I'll have to clean that side of the pan. But let's roll this engine upside down. Well, hang on, you're gonna go upside down and around, not nowhere in. Oh, decent. There we go. Let's just dump out some water. Why wouldn't we? Holy, holy shit, little water. Captain, we just cocked that right over. Let's pull this off and have a look. The widget tray. Ooh, hey. Ooh. Or should we just leave this shit? Frig, I really want to look in there. Man, that pickup is clean. I think I might just leave her alone. Cause I don't have to retorque all that stuff and get a gasket for that. You know what, I'm gonna leave that. Leave a comment down below if you think I should take that off. The only reason why I'll take that off is if I get ARP rod bolts, which I might end up getting, so. We're gonna leave that on for now, but of course I had to get that out to, um, He's just pissing out on me. Doesn't want to stop, Jim. To get that dipstick tube out. And I'm gonna put another dipstick tube in before I put her back together. But there we go, the oil pan's off and everything looks great in there so far. We'll pull the heads off next. We are gonna pull the heads, so stay tuned for that. We got more porting to come, as you've seen there. We started porting, so hopefully you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button. If you like the LS teardown, because I wanna get this thing tore down and put back together as fast as possible or as quick as possible so I can start ripping apart the old Safari and we'll get her stuck in. Just uh, text my tuner, TC Tune, check him out. TC Tune, good old Trev. I just asked him what uh, what size turbo we need. So hopefully I get an answer back from that shortly. What is fucking going on here? This engine's like the Energizer Bunny. It just keeps dripping and dripping. Fuck, I got puddles running. It looks like a pissed. What happened? Not a big deal, I guess. It'll all clean up. It's only a mess if I say so. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. This is all I'm doing for now because it's dinner time. I gotta get some edit down for you guys. So next we'll be pulling, oh, I did get in some engine mounts for the van. I'll show you them on the next video. So stay tuned for that because they came in. I got some manifold gaskets, some bolts. We're gonna change the valve springs in it. We're gonna do a upgrade on the bearings for the rockers, which is a torrent kit or uh, what are they called? Tro, tro whatever. It's a rocker arm kit to upgrade the bearings and stuff like that. Got a camshaft we're gonna put in. We're gonna change the front and rear main seals because it's a part, let's do her. We're gonna put LS9 head gaskets in her because it gives me a little bit more compression because the LS9s have flat tops. These ones are dish. Oh, by the way, there's an LS9 right there. Trevor's, Trevor's LS9, not Trevor C, Trevor R with a Grand National. That's his sick leader and that's to come. He's doing something with that too, which is gonna be a lot nicer than mine because his budget's probably higher than mine. Right, Jeff, figure it is. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification so you're notified when new videos come out. Love y'all, and until next time, you know what to do for now. <laughs>